It was a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. That's what it was. In April of 2014, Flint, Michigan switched from the Detroit water system to the Flint River to save money. The water was eating away the pipe, so lead and bacteria got into our water. The lead levels in one home were so high, water from the tap could be considered hazardous waste. The city's fertility rates decreased by 12%, while infant death rates shot up 58%. Some people developed rashes, became sick. 12 people died of Legionnaire's disease after bacteria festered in stagnant pipes. Now 15 state and city officials are facing criminal charges ranging up to involuntary manslaughter. It remains almost unbelievable, almost unreal, that a good-sized American city doesn't have drinking water. They should be about getting ready to start. Yeah, they getting anxious. Oh, uh, yeah, the line good and way down there. I see why people are anxious, because it's 10-18. Uh -huh. And it's supposed to start at 10. 10. And people yep. have been lined up since, since 7.30. Yep. So they've been waiting for nearly two and a half hours. To get water. To get water. Yes. And um, yeah, that's a long time. Yes. From your perspective, has anything gotten better? No. Nothing's no. better? No. It's worse to me because look at the line. It's like deja vu. This long stretch of cars is reminiscent of my first trip to Flint at the beginning of its water crisis. But this is life here four years after it all began. Whoever says that the, the water crisis is fixed now, I mean, this sort of speaks to the fact that it isn't. It's not fixed. I'll never trust the water, wow. never. This April, Governor Snyder declared Flint water was safe to drink and decided to stop the state's free water bottle service, saying it cost the city $22,000 a day. So the center here is one of three receiving donations from Nestle, but those donations stop after Labor Day. Hi there. What do you think of the idea that you have to come to get bottled water still? Just take gas just to do this. Mm -hmm. Then you get up there and you might not even now get no water. You want to give me a filter for the shower? But I thought the water was safe. We don't need filters. That's what they say, huh? Yeah. If it's safe, why do we need filters? Yeah. Do you think we can just ride with you? You'll have some company on the way? <laughs> Is that okay? Okay. It's what? almost 11. It's almost 11. I've been here since 8.50. Since 8.50? Yep. Do you have anywhere to be? Work. You have to go to work. Yep. You have two kids and one on the way. Yep. <laughs> one on the way here. Yep. How far along are you? Eight months. Eight months. And I know we're going to need even more bottled water now because damn sure I'm not going to bathe an infant in this water. We got the Ice Mountain Springs, the spring water. Oh, you can't yeah. bath. Each car is given eight cases of water, which isn't a lot considering entire families are still using these bottles for drinking, cooking, and bathing. Three hours later, you finally get the eight cases of water. <laughs> yep. Success. We are a people who have had our democratic rights taken away from us. There's no accountability for what these managers do because they report only to the governor. You come in in 2015 and you inherit this entire mess mm -hmm. and you don't have a good relationship with the governor. <laughs> you don't have the support and you're not getting the things you need for the residents. Right. To me, that sounds like a very stressful position. Oh, it is. It is. Yeah. It yeah. is. Um, I've told people over and over, I said, I just stay prayed up and focused <laughs> uh, because what else can I do? What the mayor says she is doing is prioritizing public health and focusing not just on water bottles, but those corroded lead pipes. We're in year two as far as the pipe replacement. Our goal was to do 6,000 pipes every year over the next three years mm -hmm. because we did an estimate of about 18,000 lines that needed to be changed. We're really proud of the progress that we've made. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, we still have a ways to go. Lead levels in Flint's water are normalizing, but having clean water means nothing if the pipes they flow through are still dirty. 
I think that's part of why I was very disappointed, so disappointed with the decision that the governor made as far yeah. as stopping the bottled water. It's not like the residents were asking for access to bottled water for the rest of their lives. We're supposed to be done right. after next year. Mm -hmm. So th that's why it just made no sense to stop. They said it cost $22,000 a day. Mm -hmm. We don't care. Yeah, exactly. We don't care. Uh, those moms and dads whose kids have suffered damage don't care. The, the people that have lost their, their parents or their grandparents or aunts or uncles or brothers to legionnaires don't care. We don't care what it costs them. They should have had the wherewithal to put public health over profit. And that's what they didn't do. It was a tragedy that happened in the city of Flint, and um, it went on for way too long. And I hope people pay attention. I hope you pay attention. And maybe the most attention on the crisis coming from an unexpected activist. 10-year-old pint-sized water warrior Mari Kopany, known to her growing fan base as Little Miss Flint. I want Little Miss Flint as a pageant title, and then it, and then I guess I started helping out to the community, and then that's when it got bigger and bigger. Now I'm just being a celebrities and helping out people and passing out water. I want to you. I know. That's why I decided to come. Do you think that, you know, this generation, your generation, is going to be the ones that help change everything? Or do you think it should be the adults? No, the kids are going to change the world. But the <laughs> adults, though, the adults want to act like kids, and, and the kids want to act like grown-ups. She <laughs> weighs $50,000. Thank you, T. Murray. I follow your Twitter page, and it's, it's quite the Twitter page, I must say. <laughs> it's pretty good. You are always reminding people all the time that Flint still doesn't have clean water. Why do you think you have to keep reminding folks? When the Flint water crisis started happening, it was in all the attention in all the media, and now people like aren't covering it. So you wanna like keep Flint going, saying don't forget about Flint, and then make sure to tell people that don't forget about Flint. Don't forget <laughs> about Flint. Yes, <sighs> I like it.